Hello and welcome back to Toon and Lee's channel. And today is Australian Day. And to, in, in homage to that, Toon's going to give her impersonation, a brilliant impersonation of an Australian woman. Good day, Tapot. <laughs> One more time. Good day, Tapot. I think that's good day, Sport. <laughs> right, why is it Australia Day today, Mrs? Crayfish. Crayfish Day. Or if you're Australian, bloody yabbies. And uh, here they are. So I think we've got seven in there. Uh, we had the old trap out, my famous lobster pot that I got from the car boot sale back in Peterborough in the UK for £3.50. It's done as prowls. We've got seven reasonably sized males in there and uh, we're going to have a good feed, hopefully. Let's just show you one of them. It is a bit dark tonight, sorry guys, but we've had a busy old day. So, uh, I, I think, I think we might be able to find a bit of meat on that boy. Looking good. So, how are we going to have them, missus? Smoked by the looks of it. How are we going to have them? Just put in your mouth and eat it. Uh, I'll have mine cooked. So, um, tunes, just rustling up. Smoky fire, uh, lit with a bit of inner tube, so that smells great. Uh, and they're going to go straight on there. So I did suggest that we put them in boiling water first. Uh, whether that's more humane than just putting them straight on there, I don't know. So I'm a little bit apprehensive if she puts them on here live because we do get a little bit of hatey comments now and again, cruelty to animals and whatever. But hey ho, can't be worse than the caterpillars and the snake videos, can it? Um, I'm starving, so it doesn't matter what they taste like. Now we have eaten. Who say, who say caterpillar can't kill people? They fucking kill me if they make me heart attack. I'm fucking I... scared. What's the problem? And I, I know my wife's scared of caterpillars, but I'm I'm not sure if they can actually kill her or not. They kill me, made me heart attack. Pretty hell. What's the problem? There's huh? no there's no problem here, love. Just you just get. What cooking. what your problem, Lee? <laughs> huh? Anyway, how, anyway, how's the thyroid doing? It seems to be clearing up really. Look at me, <laughs> that thyroid. <laughs> Where's my beer? Where's your beer? Oh, I'm not sure if you should have beer when you're in this sort of mood. <laughs> All right, let's get some beer down, us, and then uh, we'll come back in a minute or two. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Get yeah. a beer then. All right, you need to calm down, missus. Is it? The charcoal's ready. And take my word for it, guys. The crayfish were dispatched humanely as possible, what we think so, into boiling water. We did have a little bit of a chit chat about it and uh, Toon wanted to merge with them live on the uh, barbecue, but we did, uh, we did agree that um, it would be best for the, for the channel to do it this way. Now, you've got to remember in Thailand, they do a... Not because of you. <laughs> in Thailand, there's a... There is a dish called dancing gung or dancing shrimp. Thais are used to eating things a little bit more hardcore. What is dancing shrimp then, Mrs? How can you describe it? Yam gung ten. So what is it then? They call shrimp dancer last live. They dance in your mouth, yum 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 yum, when you eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, have to come save all the trim, man. <laughs> Sadly, people, Thai people love it. Well, I tell you what, let's let's put in the comments, guys, if you want to see Toon um, make dancing shrimp and uh, us eat it, then say below. But if you're ha ha, I eat that when I'm about five or six years old. I love it. I'm all right with dancing shrimp. Oh, I can't. Oh, tell you what, New Year, my sister and brother-in-law come in. We're going to cooking all day and on video. Who whatever wants a menu idea, give me. No chance, it's all sometimes. <laughs> Up to me. <laughs> Lots of different sometimes. <laughs> That's right. Sounds like heaven. Anyway, get cooking me dinner, you. Tell you what, guy. 
Leolid, let me eat. Let a uh, whisker crawl. And a leg, if they got left on the body, you got one leg left. Well, you wouldn't like the tail. I'll have the tail because you, you won't like that. You like tail? I'll take the tail for you. No, not the tail fin. <laughs> He's cutting his whiskers off. That's the best bit. Is it? Yeah. I, I so, put, what are you doing now then? I put on barbecue. Is it for shrimp? You? Uh, shrimp. Crayfish origami. I killed the crayfish. Dead. It's dead. Is it dead? No, it's still moving. Is it? Yeah, it's still moving. Look. Happy bro Boxing Day, isn't it? It's not Boxing Day now. Is it? Is it? No. Happy Christmas, everybody. So while Toon's preparing our said feast, uh, just fill you in on, on a little bit of um, preparation. So we caught these over 24 hours ago. Um, rather than just stick them straight on the barbecue, have them uber fresh, uh, we kept them alive in a bucket of salt water. So that's what the uh, Australians do. Um, so if you wanted to keep them for a long time, then you'd put about 5% salt. If you just want to keep them for sort of like 24 hours and then nosh on them, then you can take up to 15%. After that, then they're gonna pop their clogs. So you've got to make sure that you know when you want to eat them and then uh, salt the water accordingly. And then all we did was keep changing the water and um, ran a couple of, well, I think we had four air stones in there. So it's a nice, a nice, good, strong purge for the crayfish. Uh, a little bit of muck came out of them, but it, sh it should be nice, clean meat, and uh, hopefully it tastes very good. Back in the UK, we used to eat signal crayfish from the, from the River Lee. And uh, I don't know, how many did we get there, Mrs? Oh, I've not cow, but four enough. It was a flip dustbin full, wasn't it, really? Yeah. yeah. I just had to go and check the goats because there was a little bit of a kerfuffle. Uh, everyone's all right. I think they were just wanting some attention. Came back and I've been greeted by a beautiful smell. Uh, but the crayfish are going a strange curl. Have a look at this. Oh my God. I, I tell you what this reminds me of. Beer, please. Beer, please. I tell you what this reminds Beer, me of. I'm please. recording the video, aren't I? So? Oh, whatever. I'm cooking. There's Toon's Feast there, three claws. I'll let her have that. All right, I'll let her have four. But over here, I'll tell you what it reminds me of. Can you guess? Can you guess what it reminds me of? Spider crab. Yeah, <laughs> spider crab in Hollyhead. Now there, we didn't put them in boiling water. What, how did you cook them, missus? Because um, a little kid started screaming walking past, didn't he? <laughs> well, I do my style. And your style was? Straight on barbecue. Straight on the barbecue, upside down, and pin it down till it stops. Not just me doing it. I swear, not just me doing it. Well, I like to help, don't I? A lot of people doing it. You have to go run around to the sea and save it. <laughs> so if you want to save spider crabs, I know you're all right for spider crabs. We can't catch them here, can we? Mm. Um, but yeah, if you want to save crayfishes and dancing dancing shrimp, then you need to get here pretty sharpish. <laughs> that smells so good, doesn't it? Yeah. And um, what have you knocked up over here, missus? Chilli, salt, pepper, butter. Chilli, salt, garlic. pepper. Because Toon's cut them down the middle when they're nearly done. Just going to put some of that in there. Yeah. Look at yeah. that. It's going to be great. I hope so. Or whatever it tastes. Is there supposed to be you cook this stuff? Well, style? whatever it tastes like, we can't say it tastes like shit, otherwise it would be a terrible video. It's not very healthy if we just have crayfish, so you've got to have a nice balanced diet here on Paul Pang Farm. So we've got a couple of these purple things here, and uh, we're just going to pop them underneath the crayfish. They're absolutely great eating. What are they, missus? Potato. <laughs> <laughs> Easy way to cook them. I've just got to insert them into this orifice down here. Oopsie. Push in. They'll Push. be fun, in Push it in. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm in. I'm in. Did you feel it? Oh, they're in, look. Don't burn your camera. Oh, yeah. New camera. What you call? 
บอร์มอะไรบอร์ดะบอร์เมอร์ดะเออเมอร์ดะพัชเชชเดี๋ยวนี้เราไม่สามารถกินสัตว์ทะเลได้ดังนั้นก็ดีที่เราได้กินสัตว์ทะเลที่มีพลังงานมากที่สุดเพราะเราชอบสัตว์ทะเลที่มีพลังงานมากที่สุดแต่ทุกคนที่ขายสัตว์ทะเลในตลาดเขาได้ติดเชื้อโควิดดังนั้นปกติมันมาจากประเทศที่เขาซื้อขายสัตว์ทะเลไปจากต้นทุนของเขาดังนั้นไม่มีใครสามารถกิน Seafood around here at the moment. Not a problem for us now, Mrs. Is it? We we'll just go and put the trap in. Get some yeah. more. Yeah. Self reliance. So they were a little bit expensive initially. The outlay was was five bar each for the baby ones. We got um, one and a half thousand babies. Um, but from that, we've we've bred our own, and um, yeah, we've got we've got plenty here now. We will be selling them in the future, but this is just our first trial if too feed good, on them. I'm not sure I want to sell. Yeah, if they're really good, we might be struggling to sell, and mm, it might maybe. not let any go. Our potato, Massey. I can't get the potato out, can I? Yeah, I'm on it. Put on here. I'll get some more out. Mm. Oh. Potato, potato. Do that again. Oh potato. my goodness! <laughs> you not get that? <laughs> well, it's Christmas. Naughty. <laughs> well, it's ready, guys. So we got seven little beauties there, ready for us to nosh on. Uh, those. Three potatoes are going to take a little while, but they're for nibbling on later on. And uh, we've still got two in the we've got two buns in the oven down below, so uh, hopefully they won't be too long. But they're lovely, they are. So uh, we're going to chow down on these and uh, give you our verdict. All of them have got Toon's butter concoction on, apart from that one. That was a soft shell one. And uh, as soon as we put it in salt water, he was struggling and he passed away about an hour before we started cooking. But uh, it's all looking good. It smells so good. I don't know any meat on that. What, the soft shell one? Mm. Yeah, in hindsight, we should have just threw him straight back once we knew he had a soft shell. Wow. That's not bad though, is it really? Oh, I don't, I, I don't know what it's look like. Fucking fresh. <laughs> Yummy. I wouldn't know, I haven't had any. Mm. You make video I eat to show you. Um, well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Wow. So, like, right, you make with it all. I eat. I eat to show. What about the head? No meat in the head. Not on this one. Not this one. Mm. Just, just uh, like a, like a um... brain. Mm. 
Chili garlic butter. Oh, don't do that. It's yummy. I don't think you put it on that one. Mm. Holy head. Mm. Not holy head. <laughs> See, it's your fault. Uh, you want me to get you one? Mm. You yes, choose. Please. Any? Nibbler. I think it's a nibbler. Right. Let's go for it. So, this is the proper one. Wow, that's different, isn't it? So, there's the first first things we've learned. Uh, don't don't keep any soft shell ones. Wow. I thought this one was no. What you want? Just that skin bit. Bloody blah, blah, you. Hot in it? Hot in there. What? I thought that was. So, right, a lot of people want to see I'm um, eating, innit? I, I, I don't. Bab nung si. Nah. Has it got a thingy on it? Uh, yeah, but. Oh, don't. I'm gonna fall down and you miss it. Don't throw the tail away. No, I'm not going to eat the shell as well, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Jealous. You can... Good calcium, isn't it? You can squeeze the fat of the head or... It's I tell you head. what, the shell's not crazy thick anyway. Listen to that. Mm. When I have allowed to eat. You wouldn't like it. No? Mm. Did I? Or oh, fire is mine then. I'll tell you what, Mindy. The head's nicer than the tail. Yeah. You can eat absolutely everything, isn't it? Apart from the shell sometimes. I don't know. I think it's not. Do I really have to look at you eat? Minute. I don't think it's too hard to eat. Mm. Guy, I'm hungry. <laughs> <coughs> I'll leave his little chopstick legs. <laughs> yeah, oh my. Careful. That chilli's good, isn't it? Now, I'd like to say, in all honesty, I don't particularly like big, um, like, tiger prawns. Right? For me, they're a little bit overrated. But these, I'll tell you what, I know I'm biased because they're ours. We've grown them from nib, but um, so good. Oh, look at the fat in there, or the yellow. Oh my God. What kind of mugs eh? Oh, by God. Score out of ten, honest. Give it, give it a real score. Like ten's amazing. Score out of ten, hundred. <laughs> no, they won't believe that. <laughs> Up to them. For me, hundred. So, do you think it tastes like freshwater gung? I don't. Crab. Tastes like crab. Mm. Tastes like crab. It's not quite as fishy as crab. You know, crab can be quite fishy. I don't know what crab can be fishy. Crab can be crabshy. Crabshy. <laughs> we just we just have little little wrong wrong time. But another another way, I just think you shouldn't cook. You shouldn't cast them. Stay it on a salt water. Well, that what they style, but not not for me. And 
โคกดำอานาดาคาโปอาวอัพเจ้ดันว่า you can have more meat oh you think they go a bit skinny if you keep them for 24 hours yeah oh, oh my god it's so good isn't it just no meat <laughs> left in there <laughs> mm. if I got more of them I'm gonna put more up <laughs> Oh wow! But that's it. I'm allowed to have one. You've had two, actually. Is it? Yeah. <laughs>